Guys, we are back here at the MLG AW Open. We're getting to the best matches here on the Bravo stream. Jack Courage Dunlop joined by Benson. Yes. Ben, we've seen so many exciting games today. I got to ask, what's been your favorite match you've seen so far? Ooh, that's a really good question. Put you on the hot seat. You should tell me these questions and give us a break so I can think about it. All right, well, you know, maybe I thought oh, damn. aware of um, I'm going to go with uh, the Optic Gaming. Okay. Optic Gaming series earlier on, you know, and all the way to a game five, round 11. Who doesn't love a game five? I, I want to that. point out, everyone gave me so much abuse saying, oh, yeah, you know, these game fives, you always put it game fives. You've been right so far, seen so many game fives here at the Open. But you know what's even better? What's that? We're loading into game two right now. Guys, Riot, Search and Destroy between Optic Nation and Prophecy. Definitely two story teams here going up against each other. The Optic Nation squad wanting to prove that their online struggles will not transfer over to LAN here and Prophecy who's been doing well online, wants to make sure that people know they are the real deal here on land. Both of them finishing top two of their pool. We're going to hop on board here with Ricky. Ricky. I want to point out something, too. Rocking the Thermal Sniper. Ricky yes. Ricky and Legal both going to be running Cloak. Uh, you can see Cloak being used by Legal. There you have Ready. it. He's already used his overclock. Look at this. This is so sneaky. Is there anyone above him? Doesn't look like it just yet, but we'll turn on a bit of card vision. Going to turn off that counter. He's actually run out of it, so... Oh, not, not, no, now on the course. other side of things, I see oh. Embos rocking cloak. So both of these teams really? know when it's going to come out here. Okay. All right. I like it. I like it. Embos thinking outside the box a little bit. I think he recognizes, of course, that that's what he's doing. He's not bad. Uh, <laughs> he <laughs> recognizes. I was, I was too busy reading yeah. the thing on the bottom of the screen, my mistake. Um, I think he recognized exactly what Prophecy was going to do. Of course, he's teamed with both Ricky and Parasite in the past. He knows that they'll do anything they need to do to win. And I was obviously Makes sense. back at PAX Prime. But here. Here we so can see, ago. here we can see right now, Optic Nation did have a 2v4 number advantage. The bomb was planted, though, by Parasite. And now they're just playing it so smart. Look at them picking them off one by one. Karma gets one oh, button. Oh, Karma versus Parasite. Oh, it's interesting. Anyway, oh! oh! Karma hits the snipe, hey though. Gives them the knife. Hey, they may have lost that round, but Karma yeah, I don't care. starting sick. off hot. Great snipe there. You know he's going to be confident moving into these further rounds and... <laughs> Karma, I gotta go back to him. He's one of the best Call of Duty players of all time. The only two-time world champion. The guy's absolutely disgusting. And when he goes big for your squad, man, does he go huge. Oh, there's, there's going big, and then there's going Karma big. Karma, he's just explosive. He could be so silent for, you know, maybe two, three games of a series, and all of a sudden, out of nowhere, he just goes into that world champion kind of mode, and it's just not pretty for whoever is playing against him. But right now, TP is gonna be the bomb carry for Optimation. He's managed to push all the way up to the A bomb side. He's actually going to try and get that bomb Ooh. down, but Proofy has just been sniped by Ricky, I believe. So Ricky, Ricky rocking that close sniper. Absolutely deadly there, being able to get just a little bit of an advantage. There's three down now for Optic Nation as they did get the bomb planted, but it's not going to be enough. Four dead, the complete sweep of ON there. Great round for this Prophecy team. That's what you want to do on defense. Awesome. Absolutely. Now, it's going to be... Yeah, 2-0 overall. And Prophecy coming out looking very, very hot right now. I'm not going to lie. If you're Optic Nation, what do you do in this game? I mean, right I now mean, they're going to be on yeah, no, they're crazy. They're gonna be on defense first. They need to win this. You don't want to let them go up three rounds. Win this defense because then you're going to be going back into offense that you just got completely dominated on there in that last round. I really do think Karma's going to have to go big here for his squad. And I think they need to remember that this opposing team is rocking cloak, rocking all sorts of crazy things. There, you see Fears <laughs> and Ken. Karma, with snap karma is just disgusting. Oh, and he picks karma. up Fears. You've got to be kidding me right now. The final two players are right below him. Will he be able to see one? He sees Parasite. No, he gets taken out, though. Baited there as he's going to go kill that glass. Embo's flanking with cloak yet again, Ben. He's, been, he's done this twice already this game. Definitely something he's wanted to try here to uh, change up how he plays against this uh, Prophecy squad. Now Parasite with the bomb in the opposing team's base. These two players are going to be moving here through middle riot. TP, though, with a nice pick up there. Yeah, Parasite and, and Legal were in a really tough spot yeah. there. They were kind of in the enemy base, but surrounded by three plays. So by pushing through that A bomb side, they really didn't have much choice that they, or any choice, really, of where they could actually go. Now that bomb is down as well, so Legal has a lot of work to do, as well as both TP, Embos, and Proofy all still being alive. So this would be a very tough one versus three. 25 seconds left, and... He's trying to run around. Of course, he has no exo abilities left either. So with 20 seconds left, not looking like Legal is going to be able to clutch this. Although he has to build the bomb. This could be a first kill. Nicely nice. played. But 14 seconds. He needs to go for that bomb plant. Embo is all he needs to do now is shut the bomb. And that 
will be that. Time taken. Ambos with Cloak is going to get shredded up there. But round is one. There you go. So as you see, Optic Nation able to win that defense. Fantastic plays there. Clutch final kill there by TP. Had a great game one. Let's see if he can transfer over into game two here. Both former evil, formal Evil Geniuses members now here on Optic Nation. You know, what I love about the squad, too, is that they have so many people who are hungry to win. Right. Karma loves winning. It's the number one thing he wants to do. Went over to FaZe for that one event, wound up taking that one home. Embos has so many people doubting him whether or not he should be on this Optic Nation team. He doesn't put up the best stats at all times, but he is their captain, and he does keep them in a good mindset. Then you have TP. Here's a guy with the... 18 land championships, if I'm not mistaken. Now separated from Aches. You know he does not want Aches to win the first championship without him. Yeah, that's 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 what Over. makes it really exciting yeah. to me. Whoever wins the championship out of Aches and TP first is gonna be the most winningest player single-handedly. Oh yeah. And that's that's pretty exciting for obviously land totally. championships in terms of uh, oh. money earned, karma is way, way, way ahead of everyone. Yeah. And as you can That's see here, championships does. exactly. Now you can see here two people up for prophecy. Parasite at six and two on a three kill streak. Fierce gets that last kill, and now you can hear him getting hyped there over on the featured station. That's going to be three to one prophecy here in map number two. Reminder for everybody at home: this is a best of five in Optic Nation one map one due to TP's amazing slaying power. These teams though facing off here. Honestly, anybody can win this series, but if Optic Nation wins this SND, Benson, I think this is all but over. Yeah, I agree. That's all you can say, <laughs> honestly. I mean, y you're, you're just right, though. I mean, there isn't really much more to say about that. If Nation can pick this up somehow, because they are 3-1 down, let's not forget it. But if they do bring it back, you have to favor them. You really do. And uh, this is a big, big round, because in terms of overall in the tournament structure, I was kind of preaching about Nation for a very long time on ESR, and I was saying how people are underestimating them, and if wow. they can win this, that would give them such a huge run. And, of course, going into... Essentially, the winner's bracket semi. That would be amazing for them. <coughs> Let me point out someone here. Legal and Fierce, both playing extremely aggressive oh, so far on offense, and it's paying off so much. Proofy gets absolutely rocked there in that final kill. That's awkward. We're going to take a look at it in the final kill cam. Children, cover your eyes, because this wasn't very nice. It's not good at all. Oh, man. Gives him the juke behind the AC vent. And he dives down on top of him. Parasite there. Now it's 7-2 and two on a four streak, but once again, Fears and Legal, the difference makers here in this match. Proofy, though, looking a little shaky. Now only one in five. He's the man that's got to step it up if Optic Nation wants to come back. Yeah, I think this search and destroy is pretty much all but over. I think Proxy going to be picking this one up. They have so much momentum now, and as well with <laughs> Parasite 7 and 2. I mean, when Parasite's playing well, he really is playing well. And that's what's really interesting to me, because of course, a lot of you guys will recognize when Noble Impact reformed. Of course, Parasite was on the team with Killer and Miracles. And wow, if, Ricky. You saw, if you saw the game earlier on, with uh, Parasite, sorry, with um, Miracles and Killer, you'll know that they're kind of back to their, their winning selves, kind of like Black Ops 2. Yeah. And that's what it really did remind me of, that duo. And it's really surprising to know that that team didn't work, but imagine if it had have worked. Honestly, pretty crazy. I mean, I say it's surprising. It's not really surprising. You know, they, oh, are, no. they argue like school children. The first day that they <laughs> had, the first day that they scrimmed together, I think that they made a YouTube video of their arguing because there was so much of it that they could right. put in. But I mean, if it had worked, Honestly, honestly, from what I've been seeing, yeah, Mira has been showing up huge here in SND so Dude, far. He's a he's a beast. Man. Even Killa was dropping some major numbers in respawn, which we yep. didn't really see from him in Ghosts. Obviously, going to be a solid SND That's player. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's like the Black Ops 2 players have come back to life. Yeah. Which, you know, going to Karma, I think, honestly, he's in a really good position to potentially pick up a third world championship this year. There you see Karma on top of the team right there at eight and five. Can he pick up that? Oh, kill? he went for the. Oh, he Rise went for the karate the chop. Uh, kick Ricky face. just. Kick. Strafes back Kite and is able to pick him out. Bang, pow. Embos now By using way, this camo. I have no idea what you said, but I'm not even going to care. Embos some shaky <laughs> shots. He gets taken out even though he had the high ground advantage. He six goes one. down yeah, six to one in favor convincing. of Prophecy. That was a big match out of them there. You can see the players on your squad. Legal in the far right. Karma on your left side. He gets taken out there. Legal finishing that kill. Solid game from every single player on Prophecy. Ricky had a nice yep. two-piece there. He may have only finished four and four, but the rest of the players... If I'm not mistaken, double positive or more, that's what you want if you're a Prophecy fan there. Those players showing up big there in S&D. Proof just went 1-7. and seven. Embos just went 2-7. and 3-14 and 14 combination. You're not going to have that and win an S&D match. But mm. happy for Optic Nation fans out there, though, because we're going to be returning to the respawn game mode. And hopefully TP doesn't let that get to him there, that loss, because they're going to be heading into Capture the Flag on Retreat, one of my favorite game types here in AW. 
What are your predictions for this next match? Find out after this quick commercial break. Ooh. Got him. <laughs>